How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm that fishing new and uh, I did something a little bit embarrassing. So I recently fished a tournament but because it was my first official official tournament with money on the line I completely botched how I normally record my videos. So I'm now recording this after the fact to hopefully have the videos kind of more consistent. Um, but yeah I fished a tournament it started with packing stuff up in the morning, like the night before. So not the morning, but the night before, getting everything ready. And then the morning, packing the kayak, taking the drive over there, and then fishing. So I learned a lot overall. I think it was, it was a really good experience. Um, yeah, stay tuned because this is the adventure of my first official kayak fishing tournament. Whew. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm that fishing noob out here on a lake that I have never fished before, fishing my first tournament. First official tournament, like with money. <laughs> oh yeah, it's turning out to be a good day. I didn't shoot my normal intro because my mind was all in a frazzle this morning with talking with people from the tournament, check-in, all that stuff, so I don't have my normal intro. Y'all, I'm, I'm pretty nervous right now. I haven't felt like nerves or anything like that in a while. It's gonna be top five fish, top five longest fish. This is no electronics, no motor, just me, kayak, and fishing. Throw it, I have an underspin, I've got a weightless paddle tail, and I'll be throwing on a weightless fluke as well. And then of course I've got my Texas rig. I'm trying to remember depth over here, but I don't remember. Like I looked up, nautical maps, topography maps, and yeah, water is pretty stained. It's like super duper chocolate milk. I know it's pretty shallow back here, like super shallow. 7, 17 in the morning right now. It is probably 66 degrees. Water temp is like 54. I want to apologize for the inconsistency of this video. I like I have been super thrown off completely. <laughs> But for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm in an Old Town PDL 106. I've got my handy dandy three rods with me, a Penn Battle 2, a Daiwa BG3000, and a Shimano SLX DC. So I'm bouncing back and forth between Google Maps and this nautical map that I have. So I'm just hoping to <laughs> target a specific depth. I think too though, I need to not worry so much about my graphs, so to speak. Just worry about fishing. This lay down looks good. Oh my gosh. I was just about to ask, ask myself if they were shallow. That was a huge top water bite. Regardless of how today goes, I'm just glad to be able to go fishing. <clears throat> the nerves are just kinda, my nerves are wonky because it's like, I know there's money on the line. It's like, <clears throat> I know I gotta enter in this tournament kind of with the mindset of like being okay with losing money. But no one wants to lose money. <laughs> this lake is a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. I was looking at Google Maps and I was like, oh, okay, cool, yeah. And I try to imagine like the water before I get out to it. And yeah, this body of water is freaking huge. <laughs> Just gotta break it down in little parts, right? I think the thing that I need to look for right now is more depth. I think it's like it's pretty shallow all within here so probably need to go back out to the main oh man stupid mosquito main body and kind of i mean they could be in like four feet though right so if i throw out toward the bank slow burn not burn but slow roll back to me could draw them out of three feet four feet i don't like being bit by mosquitoes though that's not fun all right Let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> well, there's cover right here. I found the submerged timber. Wow. Look at that three pounder right there. Oh, that's good for 17 inches. <laughs> I'm stuck to fishing what I can see. I marked some stuff on Google Maps, uh, kind of like where some flats are, some submerged timber, 
or floated timber but for the most part I'm just I'm kind of sight fishing Slow rolling. <sighs> you understand. <sighs> oh my gosh. Alright. See so if you can get another one. Freaking riveting. <laughs> Targeting this area. Not real quick. I'll throw out a jig on that other spot. Oh, here come the swells. That's best. I appreciate them slowing down. Oh no, fishies. I don't know if they're gonna be too happy after all this. <laughs> Been out here for coming up on an hour and a half. One fish in the boat. Carp. Golly, that was a big one. Turns out to be a pretty good day. It's supposed to be like downpouring. I'm expecting like an inch of rain. That's what the forecast was last night. And you know, so far so good. <laughs> I mean I hit rain, you know, driving over here. It was about an hour 15, hour 20 minute drive. Oh, that's a bite. Dang it. Dang it, where'd you go? Hopefully that person doesn't come ripping this way because that would not be fun. No, no, they are coming this way. Dang it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you what, those engines do sound nice though when they're ripping. That must be fun. Sheesh, I just checked my map. I have a long ways to go before I'm anywhere close to anywhere else as far as places to fish. I still have a lot of water to cover. Oh, is that an otter? Oh, dude, no way, that's an otter. Whoa, look at him. Can you see him? The camera can't see him. I can see him, though. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the otter. Hold on, hold on. There. See these little head swimming? I'm gonna have to zoom in on that. Look at him. Right there. Boom. Little otter. Hello. Oh, and dive. You just realized that all of this right here is like less than a foot. So, probably means that there's no bass right there. So we're gonna go over yonder. Question is, do I go flip at the dog first or do I go over yonder and flip at that tree? Moving water coming in right there, a little channel. That could be good. No, I'm just pegged a fish right there. <laughs> that was like a carp smacked into him and <laughs> it's funny. It's crazy because as I so I'm going to another spot, but as I see things like that where there's a little stump in the water, I'm like, dang, that should be a good spot, right? But then it's like, hum. I wonder if this is all hyper shallow because like I can see that log over there and that's shallow. So that probably means that all of this is shallow, which means probably wouldn't be a good spot. Yeah, because I can see like land coming out right here out to where that stump is. So not a good spot.
think my lack of sleep is catching up to me. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> you know, it would help catching the fish. That'd wake me up. And then, <laughs> I don't know, back to the drawing board and see. So right now, I am I'm a little bit flabbergasted. But I know it's a matter of covering water and then seeing like, do they want to just stick with this underspin? Do they want to buy a Texas rig? Do they want a different? Well, I got a bit on this color, so I'm gonna stick with this color for now. All right, go hit these reeds real quick. <laughs> Dang, there's a, oh my gosh. It's a problem with fishing. It's like, there's so many spots that I've been seeing that I'm looking at right now that I'm like, dang, that'd be a good spot. That should hold fish. That'd be a good spot. That should hold fish. That should be a good spot. That should hold some fish. But it's not always the case. <laughs> Ten o'clock, three hours in, one fish. Maybe some other, maybe a bite, one bite. All right, if I wanted some depth, I got some depth. This is a steep drop down to about 17 feet. So, wind's blowing this way. I'm just going to start here and kind of coast down that way. And see, <laughs> I'm still at an extreme loss. Can't say that I'm not covering water. Covering water. We're gonna ignore all the little bubbles. Oh man, this stuff is shallow back here. See like super duper shallow parts. But I feel better. Oh, that was a. What was that? Did I just pick that? Oh, okay. No! 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 Dang it! 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 I didn't even think that was a bite. Oh my gosh! Dang it! No! Dang it! It was like a 16, 17 inch fish. Dang it! I thought I pegged that turtle. So I was like, okay, cool. I just pegged the turtle. Dang it! I need to not do that. <laughs> Oh man, I messed that up big time. That was a good fish too, dang it. Oh my gosh, dang it. <sighs> wow, still got time. Still got time to get another fish. Still got time to get more fish. Be able to see it but that is a maybe five foot gator and you just dip down why did you dip down don't dip down why did you do that why would you do that why would you dip down we're gonna go this way what up no dude i just had a uh it's probably 16 16 and a half come off back here yeah dude it sucks Nah, it's weird. Well, we got a little bit of time left. Nah. Good luck. Pressure's on. This is this is gonna be the last spot that I'm fishing. This is all the time that I have left. Okay. Well, good news is there's water flowing. There's not a whole lot of water flowing. All right, last three minutes. Hail Mary. Oh, my GoPro died. I ran out of battery. Let's see. Also, that's it. End of the tournament. I had one fish on the board. That's not going to be enough to do it. So, let me get everything loaded up and we'll go over a recap <laughs> once I got everything finished. Oh, good okay. I'm all packed up and heading back. Anyways, uh, yeah, I definitely didn't take home first, second, or third, but overall it was a good experience. So
So I think my biggest thing is, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's locating fish. So I was getting, I def, ah oh man. So let's see, I had a 13.75 and then it probably would have been like a 16. So that would have been 29, but that wouldn't have gotten me second place. Second place I had like, I think 30 something. They had like a 15 something and another 15 something. So, um, I need to not make rookie mistakes. So if I think it's a fish, then set the hook and treat it like a fish. Even if I think it's a small fish. Also, I think that's an NSX up there. Super random, but also that's pretty neat. But yeah, overall it was a good experience. Um, I need to work on locating fish in different parts of the water column. So I. I try to fish deep and then on the bottom with the Texas rig and I try to fish like mid-water column with my underspin and then I try to fish shallow with just a weightless soft plastic um, but I need to get more efficient at that also may I also need to maybe not overthink things so the biggest fish that I that I missed was in it's probably in like three four feet of water if that like where, where I actually caught him, it was probably like two feet of water. So I think I need to override my brain thinking like, you need to target depth, you need to target depth, you need to know what depth you're targeting. And then just kind of like know that this isn't inches of water. But I mean, bass could be in inches of water too. I think it's, it's finding spots that look fishy. Finding spots that should hold fish and then fish them like they hold fish and pick them apart. I think that will be, that's a goal. That's something that I need to work on. But yeah, um, first place had four fish, so nobody had a limit. <laughs> it was a pretty rough day today, especially when the wind kicked up. Uh, stumped me, but overall, look, I'm glad, I'm super duper glad that I didn't skunk, because it was my literally my first time out there on that body of water. Um, no pre-fishing, I've never fished it before, so I'm glad that I was able to catch a fish, put a fish in the boat, put a fish on the board. So that's a win, that's a success, I'm happy for that. But thank you, thank you for stopping by and joining me on this first kayak fishing, like official kayak fishing tournament adventure. Uh, stay tuned because I'm planning on fishing more tournaments and then hopefully expanding my skill set so then I can be better and hopefully win some money um but yeah but yeah that'll be it for this one thank you again thank you for stopping by make sure to say hello down below so i can say hi back or drop some fishing wisdom because that'd be cool too but that'll be it for this one i hope that you're able to go fishing it's definitely warming up so i'm sure that's good i hope you're able to go fishing and if you are fishing i hope you're able to catch a big one but i will catch you on the next one God is good. I'll be blessed. Later.